Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Red Dave's Garage. Thought I'd film uh, another short little video for you. Got a part that arrived from uh, FedEx today. So we'll open that and see what's going on, what we got inside. Um, what's in the box? <laughs> got my trusty handy. Swiss Army knife. Don't leave home without one, kids. All right, so we'll get this thing opened up, see what's inside. Oh, jeez. I should probably check this out who it was from. That'd be good. I guess we'll find out. Uh, any of you guys have been following me, my last video on the Subaru had lots of people that wanted to hear it down the road. So I will be doing that, but I thought the best way to do that would be to compare it. I have a friend who has an STI, so I want to see how this, that thing compares. So we're going to do side-by-side -side, uh, comparison with a like 0 to 60 time. We'll do uh, some launches, or like... Off of, obviously from zero, uh, and then some rolling starts, and uh, see how that thing handles compared to the STI. But I'll throw a video out there for you, all those guys that were asking questions about that. Um, oh, okay. Ah. All right, now I know what this is. So, this... For all you Volkswagen guys, this is on the Westie. This is the floor pan. Now this is for a 68 to 69 floor pan. After that, they changed a couple designs, just some of the holes. Um, my thought, so I had actually on the bus, it was just actually one area that was rotted out and they like just took some random scrap metal and welded into a piece. And then a small couple little pin holes on the other side, on the passenger side. But we're doing this bus right. Um, and these buses are super prone to rust at your floor panels. Um, this is from, let me get the, uh, come on. here we go. Where is it at? I believe it's called Classic VW with a K that makes these. Um, Yeah, it doesn't have it. Just has a yeah, classicfab.com. So with the K, um, and I read tons of reviews. I wanted really quality. This is way heavier duty than the factory one, um, by far. Yeah, the factory one's way not not even close to this thick, which is nice. So um, I will be installing this next week. As long as they uh, have a complete front nose coming when they get that box, we'll open it. We'll see what's inside. See the quality of it. It's not, that you can see there's no, like if it was really, if you can always tell on sheet metal if it's really like flimsy and crappy, if you go like this and you get the thunder sound, the whoa, 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 there's nothing. This thing doesn't even shake and vibrate. So you know you got a well stamped piece uh, that's going to hold up and it's not thin. Um, yeah, so anyways, back to what I was telling you. Uh, Will be uh, installing this as well as the nose piece next week and suspension hopefully that shows up um, that's coming from vintage v-dub that's a complete uh, drop kit that's everything I mean a whole new front beam uh, brakes everything we're converting because on 68 and 69 you gotta remember that they had all drum front and rear um, so we're converting that over uh, so you get a good look at that at how to do that as well as matching up the master cylinder on it uh, that's one thing you guys forget because you got to remember when you have uh, disc brakes versus drum brakes. Drum brakes, the master cylinder keeps constant pressure. That doesn't work on uh, disc brakes. That would lead to all kinds of problems. So I'll show you how to choose that, uh, where to get it from once we get there. But uh, so hopefully, hopefully, plan is next week 
that will at least have the four pan in the nose in and some of the suspension. We'll see how it goes. Um, I, pro I will do my best to show you as much on the suspension as I can, even though I am having Mike at Tires for Less do most of the installation as a part of a trade we worked out. So uh, this is Red Dave signing out. You guys can follow me. Click subscribe down below. Um, for all you Volkswagen Subaru guys, um, we'll be finishing up hopefully the Subaru by January uh, and moving on to another project. Um, and hopefully we can do something really cool. I'm, I'm shooting for, I really want to build. Um, I started on a 383 stroker a while back and I would really like to finish that and show you guys how to build that and run through that. So maybe that'll be the next video after the Volkswagen. But uh, anyways, I will catch you guys. Uh, hopefully it's another video tomorrow. And uh, you guys can uh, keep following along the project. And we'll see you uh, next time. All right.